I'm Kelsey Ballerini. <laughs> I am from Knoxville, Tennessee, from East Tennessee. And um, I grew up on a really bad excuse for a farm. It was like three cows and a goat, but I call it a farm because it counts totally. And um, I, I don't know, I always loved music growing up, like was super involved in like my church choir and um, in my school's version of Glee Club and all that stuff. I was the ostrich and Peter Pan. Musicals were kind of my thing. Who knew there was an ostrich and Peter Pan, right? Um, but... I, uh, I started writing songs when I was like 12, 13 in there, and um, that's when I started wanting to be an artist, and so I moved to Nashville when I was 15. <laughs> Love Me Like You Mean It, it the, the journey of this song already has been so cool for me to be a part of and to watch, and I remember um, I wrote this song about a year and a half ago. And uh, I was just signed to a publishing deal, not an artist deal yet. And uh, I wrote it with three of my good guy friends, and we had all written songs earlier that day. And so we were just playing on hanging out. We ordered pizza, and um, we were just hanging out. And one of the guys on our guitar uh, did the da 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 da, and we all just loved it. And so, uh, I mean, we just jammed and we wrote that song. And it's funny because. Um, when we were eating our pizza, our inspirational pizza, we, um, we were listening to Rihanna, and we were listening to Take a Bow, and that song, she just has so much swag and sass in it, and Forrest, um, Forrest was like, Kelsey, you need a song with some swag in it, and I'm like, oh boy, here we go, <laughs> but uh, it ended up feeling so good when we were writing it, and just really grooving, and so I remember when he sent me a demo of it a couple weeks later, I, um, I listened through my big headphones, and I remember having this moment of, like, that's it. That's something. And I, it was the first moment that I felt like I had found the sound that I, I wanted to be as an artist. And so it ended up being kind of the cornerstone for the rest of the writing. And um, it's really the song that really helped me get my record deal and is my first single. So it's, it's cool to, like, watch it go from this accidental co-write to... Um, this moment of hearing the demo and thinking, what is this? Because I think it's something, and then hearing it on the radio. So it's been, it's been an awesome journey so far with it. <laughs> uh, first time hearing myself on the radio, unexpected, was Nashville about two months ago. And I was merging onto the, onto the interstate, which is always just really hard for me anyways, because I'm a terrible driver. And I was merging, my windows were down, I had my GPS in one hand, and my radio was almost all the way down. Um, but I heard, the, I heard the intro of it, and I freaked out. I don't know how I didn't get in a car wreck. Thank you, Jesus. But I, um, I called my mom immediately and was, like, crying, and um, she was crying. That's, like, a common theme. And um, it, it's just it's the coolest thing because I think what I didn't realize before this whole last year is all the work that goes into getting a single on the radio. It's a lot of work. And so those moments where you are in your car listening to the radio like you've done since you were a little girl and your song comes on, like, those are like the little mountaintop moments that make all the hard work worth it. Oh my gosh, well, I started off songwriting by myself, because that's all I had. I was in Knoxville, and I was a teenager, and no one else wrote songs, and so, um, for me, that's always kind of been the root and the heart of, of what I do, and, um, that song, that, it, that story of that song is just a, a real story, and I wrote it in real time, which is kind of funny now, looking back, but I was the girl sitting on the front porch, and he had hurt me before, and I remember sitting there and, and coming to the conclusion that he wasn't showing up, and literally saying the lines to myself, like, I should know better, like, why am I still crying, and I bet he's with a new blonde, and I remember thinking those things, and writing them in my phone and rhyming them in my phone and went right upstairs and put it to music and turned it into the publisher the next day. And, um, I never ever thought it was good enough to do anything with. And the fact that it's, um, on the EP and the album is really special for me. Be from. 
There's not a crazy story for looking at stars, and I wish there was, but I was in a, in a write with Forrest Glenn Whitehead and Scott Stepakoff, who actually has three songs on my album now. It's the three times we've written together. Um, but it was our first write, and for the first part of the write, we were just, like, showing each other songs that we had written. And then um, we just kind of wrote it. it. It was just a really fun write, and um, we were talking a lot about, like, truck songs and, like, the boy bro truck songs. And so we were like, let's just write a girl one. <laughs> so it was just kind of like my girl truck song. Yeah. I, I'm super fascinated by uh, vulnerability. I think it's just a really beautiful thing. Um, but I think there's different versions of that. And I think that um, you can be vulnerable and like breakable and sad, or you can be vulnerable in your strength. And I think the, the message of the single, but really the whole album is just like the confident kind of vulnerable where you, you know, you're saying like, I've been hurt before, so love me like you mean it and don't mess it up. And I'm going to wear my pain like stilettos because I'm hurting, but you're not going to see it. And that kind of stuff where like, it's showing that you're real and, you know, you have emotions, but you're strong. And I think that's, that's girls. That's, you know, how, that's how we all are. So I wanted to be that voice. When I first started writing songs, I was in eighth grade. And eighth grade is just an awkward year in general. Like, it's the first, like, you're going through changes, and everyone's weird, and boys are, like, cute for the first time. And you're like, what? And my parents were splitting up. So it was just a lot of emotion all at once. And, um, <laughs> yeah, it's just a lot of emotion all at once. And I, I just needed a way to, like, talk about it. And I think because there was so much going on in my life, I just kind of shut down from everyone, and all of a sudden, songwriting was in my lap. And um, I've always kind of thought of it as, like, a gift. And so um, I've just, I honestly, I wrote for me because it wasn't for anybody else. It was just a way for me to, like, talk. And, um, and so for me, like, that's when I'm, like, tired or sad or something, that's still what I go to. Um, and I don't really worry about if it's good or if it rhymes or... If it's first chorus, first chorus, I want to just say what I need to say. And if it's good, then that's the icing on the cake. When I first came to Nashville, um, I was 14 and I had label meetings and I thought I, I was promised, but I really did like think it was easy. Um, and long story super short, I learned it wasn't, and I got sh shut down super hard. <laughs> and, um, it ended up being the best lesson to learn that early because I, I learned that you have to not copy someone's voice that's already a voice that people know, and you have to find your own. And so, um, for me, that, it took a while for me to learn that, but that was the initial, like, lesson. And, um, also like with that quote, you can, you can, um, go home or get better, I think, or give up or get better is what I said. Like, I, I think the most important thing that I've learned is to learn and to be eager to like understand things and eager to, um, to like understand how things work and who does what and how that works and have a hand in all of that. And I think, um, I think you should always want to get better and always want to learn more um, and never like never be satisfied with where you're at. Like always be thankful and like appreciate where you're at, but always want to like grow and get better. I grew up a pop girl. I mean, honestly, I um, top 40 was all I listened to and I still have a huge love for pop music, pop music. Um, but it's funny. I, um, I didn't listen to country. I didn't know country. Uh, I was writing it, but I didn't know it. Well, I remember I was like 12 and 13 writing these songs and having no idea where they fit because I grew up on a farm in East Tennessee and I was writing country songs, but I didn't know country music yet. So I heard the song Stupid Boy one day and, um, I was like, what is this and where did it come from? <laughs> and I went and got that album and Dixie Chicks and Sugarland and Taylor Swift. And that was my introduction to country music, and it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> um, 
but I, I fell in love with it. And I remember listening to those albums and thinking like, that's what I'm writing. Like that's, I think that's where it fits. Um, but I think my album is definitely country pop and there's definitely a blend of those things, but I think true country pop, um, and the way I think about it is I'm so drawn to the melodies and the grooves and the hooks of pop music, but I am so in love with the storytelling and the, and the messages of country and the lyrics. And so I think true country pop is narrowing both of those things and not losing either. And so I feel like in, in the album, there's a lot of, you know, storytelling, but then put to like a weird loop, you know, and I don't know. I'm, I love, I love that blend that's happening right now. 2015 is uh, going to be fun. It's going to be album release year. First time ever. Woo -woo. I'm so stoked. Um, and starting to tour, which is going to be awesome. Um, we're just starting right now and uh, have some dates coming up with like Billy Currington and Brett Eldridge and um, some fairs and festivals and just getting to be able to go like meet the people that are listening to my music is going to be so much fun. It already has been. Um, so definitely excited to get out there and do that some, some more. On Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, it's just at Kelsey Ballerini. Just my name. Nice and easy. I love when people, like, tweet at me and Instagram with me. Um, I always, like, stalk people. It's so fun. Like, I'll, I'll search the hashtag, let me like him in it, and, like, a bunch of girls will post selfies, and, like, that's their caption, and I'll go, like, comment on all their pictures. I love that kind of stuff. I really am so interested in, like, people, and, and especially people that are liking my music enough to, like, comment it and, like, say stuff to me. So, um, it's super important to me to, like, talk with people. So, uh, Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, I'm, I'm all over all of them. Thanks for watching! <laughs> <laughs>